In this session, we are going to talk about Mann-Whitney U-Test, the concept, its interpretation, and how to report it using SPSS. Now, Mann-Whitney U-Test is the non-parametric alternative to independent sample t-test. Just like independent sample t-test is used to test differences between two groups, but the assumption is that data has to be normal and continuous. In Mann-Whitney U-Test, there is no assumption such as normality of data. Plus, you do not need your data to be continuous. It is a statistical test that is utilized to compare two groups where the responses, that is your data, the test variable, is either ordinal or continuous, that is non-normal. So instead of comparing means that is done in independent sample t-test of the two groups, as in the case of t-test, the Mann-Whitney U-test test or actually compare medians. So, in independent sample t-test, the comparison was based on means. In Mann-Whitney U-test, the comparison is based on median because the data is ordinal or non-normal continuous. It then evaluates whether the ranks of the two groups differ significantly. As the scores are converted to ranks, the actual distribution of the score actually does not matter. Now, what are the different situations in which one can use Mann-Whitney U-Test? So, the example for this particular video is this one. A company quality manager would like to know if there is difference in the service quality received by suppliers and customers. For instance, service quality is measured using a single item with three options, excellent, moderate and poor. A market researcher, another example could be a market researcher would like to investigate if there are differences in, in attention to social media and whether these differences are significant between male and female. Here the preference for social media is measured using a single statement that has three options and these options are on ordinal scale. So in both of these first two examples your data is in ordinal scale. Here. There are three options, excellent, moderate and poor. And in the next example, there are also three options. One always prefer watching ads on social media. I'm not really fond of social media ads. I do not watch social media ads. However, the last example, an HR manager would like to investigate if the compensation offered to the two departments, finance and HR, is significantly different. The HR manager collected data from 10 personnel from, from each department. Here the compensation is continuous but non-normal. So we can go for Mann-Whitney U-Test. So if there are groups, there must be a difference and that difference must have effect size. So SPSS doesn't provide us with the effect size, but we, will, we can calculate it using this formula, which we will do at the end of this session. So here is our example data. The type. This is our categorical variable, supplier or customer. And each supplier and customer have given their rating of the service quality. Now, since this is on ordinal scale, the test variable is on ordinal scale and we are interested in identifying whether this service quality rating differs between supplier and customer or not. So, in order to do this, we will go to analyze, non-parametric test, legacy dialogues and two independent samples. Why two independent sample? Because we have got two groups, supplier and customer. So we click on this. What is your test variable? We are interested in checking the differences in service quality. So the test variable will go here because we are interested in service quality differences. So this will go here between customer and supplier. So this will go here. This is our categorical variable. Define groups one for supplier, two for customer. Press continue and press OK for results. Now here are our results. So the sample size is suppliers. There are 158 suppliers. This is just a sample data. 146 customers. The mean rank, well, it's low for supplier, high for customer. So are there significant differences in the mean rank? Well, the results show that this significance value here, 0 0.009, is less than 0 0.05. So, this shows that there is 
a significant difference in service quality as perceived by the supplier and customers. So the service quality offered to the suppliers and customers, there is a significant difference. So yes, there is a significant difference. Is this difference moderate, small, moderate or large? And this is done through effect size. So how do we calculate effect size? We need a Z statistics. We do not need to worry about the sign because we are interested in the effect size, not the direction of effect. So 2.600. So what we'll do is Z and N. Z is 2.600. The total sample size is 304. So we'll take the square root of 304. That will come down to 17.435. So 2.600, which is your Z value, divided by 17.435 will give us 0.14 and this shows that there is a small effect. The difference is not that big between the customers and the suppliers. So let me be sure about it. Well yes, the difference is 0.14. So the effect size is small. Now how do you report man whitney u test? So the difference in service quality is small between suppliers and customers. So how do you report these results? So let's change the problem a bit to identify if there exists a difference in service quality between supplier and customer. So here is our problem. So there, like we translate this problem into a hypothesis, there is a significant difference in, let's say, perception of service quality between supplier and customer. Now, how do you report these results? To evaluate the difference between supplier and customer, for service quality which is our test variable and this was tested using man with new test let's uh, correct the english a bit man with new test was utilized the test revealed and in this case it was significant differences in service quality of service quality perception of suppliers and customers. So what are the median values? Let's see. So we need the median values. How to get them? Go to analyze compare means means so the dependent variable is service quality the independent is this type go to options select the median here put it here press continue press ok and the median is for both of them it's 2 2 so the median value is 2 2 so let's say the median value is 2 and the n for suppliers is 158 and 146 respectively 158 and this is 146 the median value for both the groups is 2 the u value is here we look at it 9711 9711 the Z statistic is 0 0.14, 0 0.14. The P value was 0 0.009. Oh, sorry, the R value was 0 0.14. That is your effect size. The Z value was 2.600. 2 2.600. And your hypothesis was actually supported because the P value is less than 0.05 and the differences in perception of service quality between the supplier and customer are significant. Although 
the differences are small the effect size is small so this is how you run man whitney u test and how and this is how you report man whitney u test thank you very much